So, I want to have a look at security this time, and um, if you guys want to get to the code before I start writing here, it's actually a git checkout version um, 0 to 14 still. I haven't done any changes yet, we're going to do them together. Um, and we're only going to talk about front-end security, so Angular security, This, those lessons that are coming up now. We're going to do the back-end security later, um, but I just want to get started on the front-end security. Because if I look at the view here, I do not want people who are not an administrator to be able to add new weeks. I only want the administrators to do that. I do not want anybody but administrators to be able to click the edit button. So that's the goal for this lesson, and next lesson will make it even more strict. But now we're only focusing on the roles. So if I go into the weak controller JS here, you'll see I added a few lines of code here, and they will be added in tag 15 if you wanna go to them. Um, here I'm adding, remember you have to add the service that you're using, and I'm using the auth service here, and this is actually a function. I'll show you that in a second. So I'm just passing a function from the auth service directly into the scope, meaning that now I can call this guy directly in my HTML code just by writing uh, is admin did it, then I can call it in the HTML code. I'll show you that in a second. Let me save this and let me just uh, scroll down because under components, under auth, that's where the auth service resides. That's actually where this service is hidden. Um, so let's open this auth service and um, You'll see there's a lot of different things here. This is built by um, the full stack for you. Um, but you have a login, you have a logout, you have a create user, you have a change password, get current user, is logged in, has role, and if he's an actual admin, and then you have some get token. Now, I know it's called the auth service because if I look in the very bottom, I'll see that it uses our module dot auth in that area and then it makes a factory and calls it auth. So I know I need to uh, dependency inject something called auth to make this work. Okay, so this is the auth service and you can start reading all of this if you want to. I'm not going to spend too much time there in this lesson. So let's go, now we have the service available. Now we can actually start checking if guys are admin or not. So let's go into the week. And the only thing I'm going to add is this ngf right here in the form pasting it in again so you can see ngf right here. And um, what else do we wanna move? There's also some kind of delete button, this guy right here. I don't want that either, so let's just do the same here. Let's do an ngf. If I'm an admin, then it's allowed to edit. Let's see if that changed something in the view. Now you can see there's no um, add mode here and there's no edit button here anymore. But if I log in, let's try and log in and I go to one of the courses, you'll see now the ad button and the admin is back. So this is how I can actually start securing my site here, saying that you're only allowed to see this if this and this. But you have to remember, and this is very important, you have to remember this is not securing the back end. So even though I might have secured myself from this single application here, if I used Postman, I could get around all of this. So remember, there's a difference between securing the back end code and the front end code. And we'll get back to securing the back end code later. But this is securing the front end code, step one. Now we can check if you're an admin or not. And in the next lesson, we'll, we'll move forward to other types of validations. See you next time.